uh, dealing with him, you know, I've been a student in this game, even on the level, or at the street level, with this music shit. Uh, you know, niggas like Ken Blasters Malone, and Beat Braze, and, uh, you know, Big Y, all these people on this level that we're on, you know, I, I study this. So I was able to study him from afar, even before I knew him. But then I knew what kind of, you know, realness and what he brings to the table and shit. I got with him was like, shit, we need to, we need to get it together. And then uh, shit just clicked. Did you study him, what do you mean, music-wise? Music-wise, okay, yeah, exactly. music-wise. I know what he stands for. But then not only that, but I'm knowing people who know him, like my, my nigga Mike D from Watts. You know what I'm saying? And Baby Mont, like, they like, yeah, Brian is a real nigga. Yeah. So I did my research too. I did my background because I knew I wanted to do music with him, but I had to find out what kind of brother is he. Like, what, what do he bring? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, what kind of person am I? You feel me? Am I one of those? And vice versa. He had to check me out. Like, in other words, in, in California, where we come from, it's called tech, checking the temperature. You gotta check the temperature to see if it's if it's friendly ground for you to grace. Or if it's uncharted territory and it's not a safe thing for me to put myself in. I want to always believer. put myself in a, in a safe environment so that I can lead the way that I can. Yeah, because I'm a true believer, like, you always want to make sure that you're checking the temperature. Like, not the temperature, but, like, the vibe. That's what it is. That's what you call it. That's what you call it. You're checking like the temperature. Yeah. In California, energy, we call that checking the temperature. Don't yeah, we just check the temperature. Real. See what the energy is like in the room. That's checking the temperature. Energy if the energy is foul, then I know I don't... So what made you guys start banging and also what made you guys stop? Like what was a call out for you guys basically? A lot of it is um if you can tie the lines between the Hatfields and the McCoys, if you've ever heard that old age story here in the United States, there's a thing called a rivalry between the Hatfields and the McCoys. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the hillbillies against the so-called civilized people. There's always a rivalry somewhere throughout this thing called civilized people, you know, growing up. In our civilization, when we're growing up, this is a... It isn't what it was intended to be, but this is what it is while we're dealing with it currently. Yeah. So nobody really had this, uh, this blueprint to go about doing things. It's kind of an ad lib, kind of like when you cast for a character, but they don't have a script for you. So you fill in the blanks the best you can. You know? So either you want to be a villain or you want to be a hero. This is, you know, this is real out here, you know? Oh, man, he, he, you know, everybody like got that. friends that you had in your life that made you be like, all right. It's too many. I mean, you know, it's, it's too many. As far as me getting shot myself, you know, being in the hospital for a month, getting shot with an AK and a 9 millimeter at the same time, pronounced dead, uh, was dead, came back. So, I mean, it, you know, and I'm still going through trials and tribulations to this day as I stand here, you feel me? So, this shit is so real, so I calculate my steps, I calculate my moves, I calculate and I evaluate who I'm dealing with. I just don't deal with everybody. Like, yeah. uh, you know, I'm not a person that just trusts anybody to walk my way. You gotta prove myself and show me that you're worthy of me trusting you. You know what I'm saying? And then I take a either win or a loss on that. But it's gonna take that for me to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I've been doing this shit too long. Been knowing older people, younger people. You know when they say that real recognize real, yeah. it's a real thing. But it, it gotta be it gotta be uh, played out that way. The saying is a saying, but you know, once it's really put in motion, real recognize real for real. So I see.